This is an LED light box. It's used for tracing, but this is something else. It's older and more unusual. It's called an electroluminescent panel or EL panel. I've got this one because I wanted to trace some drawings into my sketchbook, but the LED light box is too thick to fit between the pages. Now that's called an electroluminescent sheet and it's really interesting. You can get them from illumaglow.com for about $35. They are more expensive than an equivalent LED panel, but much thinner. It works on a totally different principle. So let's talk about how the light emitting diode works so that we can understand how this electroluminescent panel works after. A diode in general takes direct current, continuous one direction electricity. That's the kind that comes out of a battery it converts that electricity into light. The way it works would have been an utter mystery to physics even a hundred years ago. So you start with a material that is a little bit conductive, not quite an insulator, not quite a metal. Silicon works pretty well. If you take silicon and you dope or add just a little boron or phosphorus, you add free electrons or free holes where electrons could go. Both of those things make it a little more conductive, but the magic happens when you put those doped materials next to one another. You have to do work to push them. That work puts energy into them. When they join up electrons and holes, the electron falls into the hole and they're basically gone. But where does that energy go? We put energy in, it doesn't disappear. It has to come out and it comes out as light. Now this sheet is completely different. First, it's not conductive, but it does have a material with holes for electrons. If you push electrons into it, you get a pulse of light as those holes get filled, but that's it. You can't push any more into it. There's no circuit. You have to let it relax. If you use alternating current and you treat it like a capacitor, you can get lots of pulses in a row and it looks like continuous light. It used to be called a light emitting capacitor. The idea is actually older than LEDs. They used to use electroluminescent panels or light emitting capacitors like this for instrument panel lighting in cars because it's dim but power efficient and it doesn't ever burn out. It was also used in night lights for the same reason. One of my childhood friends actually had one of these plugged in uh, in his house. And I always liked how it looked. Those night lights are almost certainly still operable 30 years later. The one in his house is probably still glowing. They have been known to operate for 60 years and still work about as well as they did when they were made. Okay, but what about tracing? What matters is, does it work? Sure, you can trace with it. It is relatively dim compared to the LED light box, but it works. I've never seen anyone use it for this, but I've had fun using reference drawings to ink illustrations directly into my sketchbook. So thanks for checking these out. If you're new to the channel, I am Dr. Peter Allen. I make videos about science topics. And if you're interested in science stories, you can leave me a question or a comment and I will do my best to answer it. You can drop me one in the comment section or send me an email or a voicemail with the link in the comments. If you like this, you can see my last video where I went into some nuclear fusion fuels that. I find interesting. And if you don't want to miss my next video, subscribe or sign up to my mailing list at peterallenlab.com slash list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.